everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to pack for a cruise along with some helpful tips I learned along the way. I do cover every possible packing item and essentials you could ever need for a tropical cruise, so this video is perfect to replay and pack along with for your cruise and easily change out items according to your cruise length and destination. I have a cruise essentials video that details your cruise must-haves that perfectly pairs with this video. I'll have that link pop up in the corner for you to go watch. I'll also link it in the description box below as well as the majority of items you see in this video. First, I'll be starting off with clothing as it's the most important and choosing pieces is the most time consuming. I usually like beginning with swimsuits because it's the easiest items to pick. So for an 8 day and 7 night cruise, I usually like to take a 1 piece, 3 tops, and 2 bottoms that I can mix and match with those tops. One chiffon cover up and a pair of jean shorts to go with it. For other cover ups, I love sarong wraps and crop tops so I can easily throw them on if I want to pop in for a quick lunch somewhere because I'm pretty much living in my swimsuit. Most days I'll use up to two swimsuits so it's nice to have extras while others are drying off and I also prefer to have a variety. If you're interested, I also have a cruise outfit ideas video that details what to wear for different occasions as I will only be showing the packing methods in this video. I'll have that link pop up in the top as well as a link in the description box below. I love using packing cubes because they allow me to sustain organization throughout my entire trip and they're easy to toss into the drawers instead of unpacking every single piece of clothing. As far as folding, I find the rolling method is the most effective as it makes the items extremely compact and allows you to see each clothing at a glance. And then here are undergarments. Sorry if it's TMI, I just want to make sure I covered this. I bring one dark and one light regular bra a nude strapless and a fashion sticky one for trickier tops or dresses, two tummy control shorties, and a sleep t-shirt. For underwear, one for each day plus a few extra, then I also bring some comfier ones to sleep in. If you like doing your hair and makeup, I would suggest bringing a thin little robe so that you can have something to get ready in instead of getting makeup all over your nice clothes. Moving on to my next set of clothing, if you guys saw my cruise outfits video, you're familiar with me wearing matching outfits with my little family for pictures, so I make sure to put those specifically in a packing cube together so every time I go in that particular cube, it serves as a reminder that it's a matching outfit. I also take pictures ahead of time of our family's matching clothing so that I don't forget which pieces go together. If it's easier for you to pack by day, as in day one, day two, etc., you could do it that way as well. I actually do my kids' clothing that way, but I prefer this method for mine. I have a few pieces here that are specifically for evening wear as well as excursions. Next, I like to work out during cruises as it allows me to work off all the additional food I'll be eating. I try to choose my thinnest and least bulkiest gear. So here are eight pieces of clothing. Rule of thumb for excursion days is having two different outfits. So that's what the four is for. We have four excursion days. We usually land at our port the day before, so that's what another outfit is for. Then I like to have one extra for whatever reason, the other ones get messed up, I have an additional outfit to wear. Then I've got one for the first day of the cruise and then the last day of the cruise. And that makes eight total. I just want to emphasize that all these items are not necessary whatsoever. A lot of people come with just one outfit per day. However, that is the total opposite of me. I absolutely love dressing up. So it is definitely your preference. And last but not least, I swear this is the last bit of clothing. I have three items here. Two of those outfits are date night outfits with my husband. I like to put significance into that night because we do not get a lot of date nights. And then the last one is a cardigan. That's just to throw on in case any of the nights under cruise is a little bit cooler. I have something to put over me. And since there's not of these to go in a packing cube in their own, I usually like to stick them into a cube that's not full. In this case, it's going to be my workout packing cube. So I stuff those in there with them. Next, moving on to the shoes, I'll be bringing 7 total pairs along. I usually wear my bulkiest shoes, which are my running slash workout shoes on the day of travel, so there's no need to pack that in here. Also, those top middle camel sandals are actually supposed to be my shower flip-flops, but I'm not able to find them anywhere, so we're going to pretend that's what those are. I love bringing beach flip-flops because they have multi-use, I'm able to use them for the beach as well as shower shoes. Delicate shoes are placed inside packing cubes and the other shoes that can squeeze into smaller areas I place inside shower caps to save room as well as keep my inner luggage dirt free. Then of course you cannot forget your sun hat, I prefer just carrying this on the plane. 
Next are my crossbody and evening clutch bags. I know this seems excessive, but I love to match, so I gotta have these four. The top two are specifically to go with my evening wear. The bottom left one is for date nights, and then the bottom right one is just my daily go-to regular crossbody bag. This is the perfect opportunity to pack your smaller random items into empty bags to maximize your luggage space. So I'll be placing my power strip and my magnets right in here. Make sure to place all your chain straps within the bags to prevent damage to them as well as prevent them from snagging other items in your luggage. For additional protection, I place them in either their dust bags or in another packing cube. Moving on to my toiletry bag, I'm absolutely in love with how large this is and how many compartments it has. On the top small compartment, I like to keep my cotton balls and pads, q-tips, floss, and travel wax strips. In the larger compartment, I've got my shower items, soap pump, potpourri, deodorant, shaving cream, toothbrush, toothpaste, nail grooming kit, face and foot masks, and makeup remover. All the items that I'll be storing in the restroom. In the next compartment, I've got hair products, face serums, sleep spray, lotions, brush, lint roller, and perfumes. I also want to share this clever little atomizer with you. They're incredibly compact and come with four in a pack. Just take your perfume and remove the top lid, then the spray cap, then take the bottom of your atomizer and pump a few times on the spray, and you have your favorite perfumes to go. This will definitely save you a lot of money from having to buy a mini version of all of your favorite perfumes. I'll also link this down below. In the last compartment, I've got my tear cloth head wrap and also my sleep mask. This toiletry bag definitely will fit all of your needs and then some. It's also got this awesome little hanger on it to be able to hang anywhere. And then you've also got this little compartment in the back that I like to put sanitizing wipes and Lysol wipes in. There are many different colors to choose from. Next is my matching jewelry organizer. It does come in varying sizes. This is one of the smaller ones. Just like the toiletry bag, it does come in many different colors. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for everything. There's a spot just for your rings, earrings, lots of zippered compartments. And back here is where you can store your necklaces so that they are never tangled. This next item is probably my most favorite makeup organizer I've ever purchased. It's in a cube shape and it's also very durable. It has a spot for my brushes in this area, then there's a zippered spot where I can put my LED mirror. As you can see, you're able to fit quite a bit amount of stuff in here and you're able to reconfigure the slots as well to your own needs. Just love being able to see all of my makeup and not have to pull every single item out like a regular makeup bag. I can work right out of this cube and not clutter up the desk or the sink area. Now moving on to another type of bag. This particular one I like to have on us at all times, especially when we're going to the pool and also in excursions. In this bag, I like to put our Ziplocs in, our different type of sunscreens, disinfectant wipes, water bottles, hydration accelerators, and our waterproof foam pouches. It's just so much more efficient to have these in a little pouch and have it all together and ready to go. Since there's quite a bit of room left in this little pouch, I'll also be putting these four additional items in there just so that they can be packed somewhere, but once we get to the stateroom, they will be staying behind. I've got some anti-wrinkle spray, anti-monkey butt, hand sanitizer, and aloe. This next pouch basically goes everywhere with us as well. It's basically our first aid kit. It's got your traditional pain medication there as well as other nausea aids. And then the pink box you see is actually a pill box. It's got our regular medication, pain medication. And the smaller pouch, I've got my feminine products. Next, I've got the over the door organizer, a trash bag, some dryer sheets, and then beach towel clips. Next, we're moving on to some other essentials. These are going to be going into my carry on bag. Before I move along, I'm gonna go ahead and mention this purse organizer. This is an absolute lifesaver. You will see how you will basically have no choice but to be organized in just a moment. Also for reference, this is the Neverfull in the MM size. First and foremost, I've got our documents organizer. It's got our passports, our excursion information, luggage tags, everything of importance. Then I've gotta have my toiletry bag. It's got a bit of makeup in here, chapstick, gum, atomizer. Then if you guys have noticed, I'm a germaphobe, so I've got to have disinfectant wipes in here as well. I've also got some baby wipes and some Kleenex. AirPods are a must. Then I've also got our lanyards for our sea passes. Then I've got to have my tech organizer on me. It has my power bank, my charging cords, external drive, and charging block. 
sunglasses case, compact tripod, power bank and fan duo, pill box, and then a beautiful scarf to cover everything up. And my claw clip I usually keep on the handles of the bag so that it doesn't get damaged in the purse. Finally, here are all the packing cubes, toiletry bags, and other organizers. Since clothing will be the heaviest items, they will go into the main compartment. On the other side, I'll be placing the swimsuits, the over-the-door organizer, the trash bag, the large pouch, three pairs of heels, and my three clutches. Then in the zippered portion, I like to put in my reusable masks. Next, I've got my hair curler and then my power bank. These items are extremely thin and perfect to pack last as they can easily fit into crevices. In the corner, there's a perfect spot just for my heels. And then above that, I like to place my sandals. Lastly, I place my backpack on top. This is perfect for excursions that are a little bit more strenuous where you need to be hands-free. Lastly, here are all the items that I prefer to have on us at all times. If you guys saw my cruise essentials video, I mentioned getting a rolling carry-on to keep on you while your stateroom is being prepared. And these are all the items that I prefer to have on me. My beach bag, sun hat, towel clips, medicine bag, beach sandals, toiletry bag, jewelry bag, and any other item of value. Sometimes it may take a while for your stateroom to be ready, but we are ready to have fun as soon as we board. So usually we will have our bathing suits on as well. And it's just really helpful to go ahead and have all of these necessary things that you may need. For my larger beach bag, I like to put my other purse right into it because number one, it saves me a lot of room. Number two, this beach bag is much easier to clean than the other one. But that is it for the video. That is everything that I packed for our cruises. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully took a little bit of something away from it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below. If you guys have any tips or tricks, make sure to leave it down in the comments below so that other cruisers can see. Other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.